All right, Tropical Storm Philippe continues its jog to the north. It is very poorly organized right now. It's about 400 miles or so south of the Bermuda Islands. We'll point out the Bermuda Islands here. They are so due south. It continues to move north at about 10, 11, 12 miles per hour. Maximum sustained winds in that 40, 45 mile per hour range. But again, it is poorly organized. It has been getting uh, impacted by winds coming in out of the north northwest wind shear, right? And that's why the center of circulation has uh, always been displaced away from where you get to convection. The other thing you're starting to see, you just see clusters of clouds, nothing that's organized. So this is very poorly organized. And we'll continue to watch this move to the north. All right, now this gets a little complex. Let's see if we can follow this. Because what's happening is, uh, FLEEP is gonna be influenced by this upper level low. Here it is off the southeast coast in the United States. Now, a couple of things this upper low is gonna do. It's gonna help guide this northward. Also, there is a possibility as Philippe gets uh, uh, close enough to this upper low, it'll add a little bit of energy and a little bit of moisture. It will also decrease the wind shear that that's going to allow Philippe to get a little better organized. That's one possibility. I could see another possibility that Philippe just continues to get sheared. There's not much left of Philippe and what happens is its moisture in a sense combines with this upper low and it's the upper low that we're tracking toward New England as we head towards Saturday night and Sunday. But no matter what solution you look at here, we have a storm, uh, whether it's a tropical storm or a winter-like storm, heading toward New England, down East Maine, as we get into Saturday night and Sunday. Of course, there's gonna be impacts to Bermuda as we go through tonight. And keep in mind, because of that southwesterly wind, uh, shear, most of the rain and wind are on the eastern side of the storm. So this is gonna impact Bermuda. It's moving fast enough that not we're looking at uh, large amounts of rains, but there's gonna at least be a few inches and some strong gusty winds. And then again, we have this tropical storm, either it's Philippe or this kind of a hybrid storm heading toward down East Maine as we get into Saturday night, Sunday. And again, no matter what this storm is, how you want to classify it, it's going to have impacts across Maine and Nova Scotia. Now, all of the rain that you're looking here to the left or to the west of my line has nothing to do with Philippe except for perhaps this rain up in, up in um, St. Lawrence Seaway. So this rain in here, this is all from Philippe as it comes to the north and east. So about two to four inches of rain. Also, there's going to be gusty winds with this. We're going to wind gusts 40 to 60 miles per hour with Philippe in this area, especially uh, mid coast, down east Maine and Nova Scotia. So it's a formidable storm. I don't think it's going to be as impactful as Lee was. Lee had a lot of rough surf. I don't think this system is going to have the same kind of surf because it's not as strong, but there's certainly going to be some rain and wind. Now, really quickly, after Philippe, we have a time to relax, and then we look a little farther to the south. I want to point out this area from mid to late next week. We're going to get that big dip in the jet stream into the east. That's going to bring a frontal boundary south. It's going to stall across the southern Gulf of Mexico, and with Pacific moisture and energy coming along that front, we're going to have to kind of keep an eye on this area for what I call homegrown development, development in close to the United States. We have already put a low possibility for this mid to late next week, but this will be the area to watch.